Okay, now here we have an example. What is permutation? Now let's take the simple example of three letters C A R. Now suppose I need to choose, I need to select any two of these letters. So I may select A and C, which is the same as selecting C and A. Or I may select A and R, which is the same as selecting R and A. Or I may select C and R, which is the same as selecting R and C. Now, once you're selected, it's like telling this is a combination. That is, you have selected two letters out of these. A and C, A and R, C and R. Now, out of these, suppose, what are the ways in which you arrange? There are two ways of arranging. You could arrange A and C, C and A. Similarly, here it could be A and R, R and A. You could arrange this as C and R and R and C. So, actually there are six ways in which you can arrange the two letters that you have chosen. So, you are choosing two out of three, which is a combination. And then arranging them becomes a permutation. You are arranging them in six possible ways. So it becomes a permutation, which also means, now these are, I'm repeating these things to understand, a permutation is always preceded by a combination. Because you can arrange certain things only after you decide which ones you need to arrange. So in a sense, it means that you need to first select, which is a combination, and then arrange them. So there is always a combination process starting taking place. What are the ways in which you can combine the various options? And then we need to arrange them, which becomes a permutation. It's a very simple example of how we can choose this concept. Okay. Now, what is a combination? As I told you, when you say C-A-R, there are six possibilities. Out of these, C-A, if you see C-A, and AC are one and the same, so which is the same as this. CR and RC are one and the same, so which is this. And AR and RA are one and the same, hence you have AR. So combination involves just three possibilities. You are just selecting CA or AC. The order is not important in which you select. In permutation, the order in which you arrange is important, whereas in a combination, the order is not important. What is important is selection. Other examples you have, suppose you need to um, pick up, you want to form a committee of, uh, say, five people out of, uh, say, 20 people. So you can select them in five. You could select, as I told you, PQRS, or you could select PRQS or PSQR. Ultimately, you're selecting these four. Whom you select first is not important, right? Hence, we this becomes a combination where the order is not very important. So if you see in combination, order not important. Whereas in permutation, order is important because it's an arrangement. This is Combination is basically choosing certain number of items out of a total number of items or selecting. Whereas this one is after selection, you arrange them. Then it becomes a permutation. So this is a very simple example to indicate the difference between permutation and combination. There are, of course, very uh, interesting ways, a very simple example. Say selection of World Cup cricket team is a combination. You're selecting certain number of players. Now in this, it's not important whom you selected first. You may select player number A first or player number B, B second, C. The fact is whether you select A, B, C, D, E, F, it's the same as selecting B, C, D, E, F. So it is a clear cut case of combination. But deciding the batting order is very is a permutation because who will the order in which whether A goes first and then B follows then finally the tail enders or whoever the tail ender goes first, then it is a different situation wherein the arrangement of the order is important. So this is simply a case of arrangement. 
whereas this is you are just selecting a team. So the order in this case is so very important, right? So hence this is a case of difference between a combination and a permutation. Similar in another example, suppose you are selecting the trousseau, the various types of dresses for a bride's wedding. You may select about five dresses. But the order in which you have to wear them for the specific functions, on a particular day you have to wear this, not something else. So the order in which you arrange them is ex extremely important. So after you select them for, you may select five particular dresses or two or costumes or whatever you would say. Then there are various functions during the uh, wedding and pre-nuptials and post-nuptials. So for each of them there is a separate dress. So the order in which what you place on specific day is important. So this, this is a permutation that is selecting it is a simple combination. We have another very important interesting example rather which all of you would have uh, chosen. Suppose you have a class of about 20 children out of which you need to select two of them any two maybe 20 of them are equally good so all of them are equally remember in any permutation or combination whatever you're selecting it is understood that the probability of selecting all of them are equal right so all of them are possibly equally good so you need to select two for getting uh, for uh, getting a particular two medals or maybe three medals maybe the gold silver and bronze you have highlighted them so you said you feel that select if we select a b and c they can get gold silver and bronze medals but it is also possible now within them once you select a b and c that becomes a combination out of that b getting gold c getting silver and a getting bronze is different from a getting silver and b getting uh, bronze and c getting gold so the the, who gets what that makes it a permutation so initially you just selected through people three people out of the equally probable 20 of them for the three major medals now out of that who gets the gold who gets silver who gets the bronze within the three the in that a getting it or b getting what c getting what among these three it makes a difference so it becomes a permutation simple understanding of difference between permutation and combination and also to make you understand that first you are selecting hence combination which is followed by a permutation permitting it's possible there is only a combination with the when the problem arises that you need to only select so wherever there is a combination there need not be a permutation but whenever there is a permutation there has to be a combination prior to that this is something all of us have to understand so this is a very good example of it